behind him. Last lap. Go, Rocky. That's the cheer from the crowd along its straight through Hell Corner. Look out for the truck. This is the last time round for Peter Brock. And we'll see if Brock means business. A couple of years ago, he said he's fastest lap of the race in the final circuit. Flick the lights. The car in front. Look out, son. I'm coming through. And a GTX. Up towards the cutting. The last time for the day for Peter Brock. Chili cut. Left handed. Down through the gears. Accelerates out of there. Up the hill. That wall there is claimed a few. Really stretching the engine now. He works it as he goes. Over the top of the mountain. Here comes the crowd at McPhillamy. Everyone standing on top of the mountain. Here he comes. The man is going to make it six. And he's got time to put the hand out the window and say thank you very much. Over the top he goes at Skyline. One of the real remarkable men of Australian motorsport. Even with the hand out the window, he's still able to pull away just a little from Peter Jansen. And through the S. Down off the mountain. The last time in 82, the flags are out. The crowd's going wild. The flag marshals are applauding. On the right side. Here he comes now. Okay. Final time down. Conrock straight. Speaking back with his pits. Jansen pulling up as Brock stretches it out just a little. Jansen tries to close. Though he's well back behind Brock and Brock might even let him go past. Doesn't want to get involved in it. No, he didn't. No way. Stand by for the pandemonium that's about to break loose as Peter Brock comes around Murray's corner to take the checkered flag at the end of the great race. He's done it. He's won it. The 82, James Hardy, 1,000 goes to Peter Brock. And what a reception from the crowd. Lawn lovers, Daxon lovers, Mazda lovers, Nissan lovers. They all stand and salute one of Australia's greatest. He's done it in great style. Said a small car would win the 82 James Hardy 1000. Well, a small car did, but had a V8 aboard. Peter Rock heads back to Victory Lane and a delight at Larry Perkins. And just look at the crowd. Is that right, Dan? You're right. So Peter Brock has gone on to win the 1982 James Hardy 1000 Classic. Second place will go to Sydney Commodore driver Alan Rice of the Recar Henry. Third place to the Marlborough Holden dealer team John Harvey. Fourth place to Dick Johnson of Queensland of the Ford. Fifth place will go to car number three, Peter Jensen. Sixth place to car number 31, Jim Richards of the BMW. Seventh place will go to Alan Hoffman, Peter Stuyvesant, Mazda. Next, Stephen Masterton, Bruce Stewart and the Masterton Holmes Ford, rounding them off. A CB, number 56, the Nissan Turbo. Tenth place, McLeod Dane, Mazda RX-7 entry. Well, there they are, one to ten, and that's number one. Peter Brock on screen, the race cam, Channel 7 race cam, showing you a delighted Peter Brock. And then... Back of the pit area, Brocky nods ahead, acknowledges the crowd. The James Huddy winner for 82, 163 laps completed without incident, having taken the lead on lap 11 and not being headed thereafter. Although Brock won it, it was almost a photo finish for second place between Alan Grice and John Harvey. Here's Peter Brock. Okay. Pulling up in front of the James Hardy yeah, setup. <laughs> so Peter 
Peter Brock has arrived back at victory lane after making it six. I think a very delighted Peter Brock. It hasn't been the best of seasons for him. But they measure the success of touring car drivers by the big one, the James Hardy Classic. You can bowl off six wins in that event and put you in a class of your own. No one else has so far done it. And Peter Brock looks like uh, having that record for still quite a while. of the uh, prize money is going to go to Peter Brock. We'll sort out all the award winners uh, at all the placings.